Chapter 31, Section 11, Hepatitis. Uh, hepatitis. Okay, break it down. Itis, infection, inflammation of hepa, hepatic liver. So this is a liver inflammation, a liver infection. So liver inflammation caused by viruses or bacteria. There's multiple types. And remember, this chapter is based around communicable things. So this is person to person spread. Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, hepatitis can be an acute illness, which leads to a quick liver destruction of liver anatomy. You know, change of the architecture, change of the tissues, damage to the tissues, leading to what we refer to as cirrhosis, or it could be a long, drawn out process, chronic. This is slow infection, slow damage that accumulates over time. That's the difference between acute and chronic time frame. What we refer to as the hepatitis viruses are very diverse, okay? different genomes, different structures, all of that. Um, why we group them together? Because they target the virus, I mean, target the liver. Hepatitis A, B, D. Hepatitis A, hep A, mild, rare, severe, you know. It's rare, but when it does happen, it causes a very severe liver disease, okay? So, you know, it's one or the other. It's mild or for the most part, if anyone gets it, rarely, boom, very severe disease. Um, what we see often though is B and D. Hep B, acute, often severe disease. That more often than not, if it's, you know, if it's not a mild or slightly you know, iffy disease, it's you know zero to 60, very fast, liver failure, death. Okay, this is what they refer to as serum hepatitis. This is the one that gets spread, you know, more often than not due to needles, sharing of needles and whatnot. D is well, they call it a defective virus because it has issues. It can get in, but it can't replicate. It has to be a co-infection with us in a cell that is already infected with B. B can be bad enough on itself, but D with B, much worse. But if you get exposed to D, honestly, most of the time it can't do anything because while it can infect, it can't replicate, it can't mature, it can't be released. So it's not a problem. B is the one we worry about the most, which is why B, there is a hep B vaccine out right now. What CDC happens with hepatitis, you get what is referred to as jaundice. The liver is no longer able to detoxify, no longer able to filter out things from the blood. You get a buildup of waste products. One of those waste products, one of those things is bilirubin. Bilirubin gets in the blood, collects in the tissues, causes the sclera of our eyes to go from nice white to yellow. That's why they refer to this as jaundiced eyes. This is classic jaundice. If you have this, you have jaundice. If you have jaundice, you have something going on with your liver. Doesn't mean it's always hepatitis B infection, but you have something going wrong that is affecting liver function. Hep C is a chronic, slow, long-term that will re lead to chronic liver disease. This will lead to what we think of as cirrhosis of the liver. But where hep B is measured in weeks, months, hep C is measured in years, decades. Hep E, oh, this is a limiting, self-limiting virus. You get it, get infected, you get sick, you get inflammation of the liver, immune system clears it out, and then it takes a week or so for the inflammation to subside and your liver to go back to normal. 
So the ones we watch out for are B and C. B is acute, C is chronic. Now, it has decreased in the past 20 years, okay? We're getting better. We have a vaccine. We're getting more, you know, word out with, you know, public health initiatives, PSAs and things like that. Uh, we're trying to get people to um, share needles less, okay? Because that was one of the ways that Hep B was getting spread around. Hep V vaccine started in the 80s and it's gotten more and more prevalent. It's getting better and better. So our Hep B numbers have been decreasing. It's also a lot was with which populations they were targeting. Um, hep B, hepatitis B, um, IV drug users, and the homosexual populations were the ones because, you know, yes, if you can spread it by blood and IV drug use, also spread it with sex. They seem, you know, those populations, those two populations seem to be the ones are getting hit the hardest. Um, hep A vaccine. Um, again, this was more of a contact, sexual. So between the two of those, they've been getting the numbers down. Notice it's not zero, but they're getting there. They're trying to get there. Hep C, mostly uh, sexual contact. You know, they don't consider it you know, to be an STD as of such, but that's been the more prevalent way that it's been spread.